one of the most common pieces of advice that we see for saving energy is to turn off heating in unused rooms. Now this advice could save you energy, absolutely, but it could also cost more money because they don't always mean the same thing. If you have a pre-2005 boiler, you will save money turning off unused rooms, but the majority of homes now have condensing boilers or heat pumps, which are becoming more and more popular every single day. Condensing boilers are much more efficient when working at lower flow temperatures. So rather than having incredibly hot radiators, and importantly, incredibly hot fumes being poured outside via your boiler flue, the heat that's leaving via that flue can be put into your radiators. And the way we achieve that is low flow temperatures. Now, if you do have a condensing boiler, that's one with a white pipe underneath or a heat pump, you want as low a flow temperature as physically possible. As the lower you go, the higher the efficiency. There's even controllers or modulating thermostats that do this for you. Check out our must watch before choosing a smart thermostat video to see which ones. Essentially, the way you get your flow temperature down as low as possible with or without a modulating thermostat is to use as much radiator surface area as possible. A larger radiator surface area means the radiators can be less hot but still heat the rooms to the same temperature. This will in turn mean that your boiler can extract more heat from the combustion process and send less heat energy out via your flue. For the scientific version of this, check out our condensing theory article over on heatgeek.com. And by the way, heat pumps have even more efficiency gains from lower flow temperatures. Imagine your boiler or heat pump are like cars and the flow temperature, your rev counters. The higher the temperature, the higher the revs and the less efficient. Turning off individual radiators is like applying the brakes. The heat source will have to work hotter to put the required energy into the property. Yes, not as much energy or speed is needed, but the efficiency is lower which could cancel out any savings and potentially cost more. For more detailed information on this, check out our video, Why Not to Zone Boilers or Heat Pumps, where we break down all the maths. So, instead of turning off radiators in unused rooms, what we would suggest is using setback temperatures. If you're not using a room, you still want flow through that radiator, or the other radiators will have to work harder. A setback temperature is a slightly lower room temperature that will still allow flow through that radiator. We'd suggest that these rooms can be turned down by about half a digit on the TRV if you have them. That's a thermostat with numbers on the side of your radiator. It could be set to a lower room temperature, but it does depend on your internal and external wall insulation level and how often you leave your internal doors open. We go much further into detail over on the zoning video or watch our video on whether to heat your home constantly or not, which will explain similar principles. Keeping unused rooms heated will matter slightly less if you've got traditional old on-off thermostats, as opposed to the high efficiency modulating room thermostats that we advise. Please note a smart thermostat isn't necessarily modulating. If you don't have a modulating thermostat, you should still turn down your boiler flow temperature. If you've got a heat pump, it should already be modulating. If it's not, call a heat gig. <laughs> If you don't have a modulating thermostat, you should still turn down your boiler flow temperature and perhaps turn it down more in autumn and spring than winter. Just know this does depend on how you generate your hot water. For more information on turning the flow temperature down specifically, watch our 11 tips on how to save energy. That's it for this one. If you found it helpful, please hit like, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.